Today I'm going to demonstrate a super fast way to make interactive and fun games using Smart Lab. Now to do this, you'll be able, you need to download your free trial of Smart Notebook. I've got the URL on the screen. And then you could try this for yourself. So you can see that I have opened Smart Lab and I am looking through the gallery and typing in a search term. So for this, I am using SAT Math Introduction. And you can see I'm just clicking and typing on the screen. And believe it or not, this was just the second time I'd used this software. It's very, very intuitive. So I have the intro screen. I'm now going to look for a quick little background. And the Smart Gallery is full of lots and lots of cool material. You can type it in or you can search for it. And for this, I'm just going to use some simple graph paper to keep it very, very easy. Now, this is just my little intro to show the kids uh, what's going on. So next, I'm going to click and make a new slide. And now, this is the cool part. I'm going to insert a Smart Lab activity. And you will see there's lots and lots of activities that you can use in your classroom. Now, I like to open class with open-ended response. And I am at a BYOD classroom, so I'm going to use something called Shout It Out. This way, students can use their cell phones to send messages to the board about the topic we're preparing to discuss. In this case, it's SAT Math. Now, I like this because it helps bring out previous knowledge and we can also discuss misconceptions and talk about them at the beginning of class. So they literally open up their phones, they go to the activity, and I will show that in a separate video how that kind of looks. Now, it is ready to run when I'm ready. So I'm just typing in this information here and I'm going to click finish and you can see that it is going to be there on my screen and ready to run. In fact, it'll already be running if I brought it up on the screen as students were in the class. Boom, I'd be ready to go. But now I'm going to create an introductory quiz game. So students are going to split into two teams to answer questions in this particular quiz game. So here we go. I'm going to go to Insert, Smart Lab Activity, lots and lots of choices, and I am going to here pick. Well, first I'm actually renaming my last slide because I do like to name the slides so I know what they are. So there I go. Rename that slide. And now I'm going to insert my Smart Lab Activity, and here we go. So this time I'm going to pick Quiz Game. And you could do true, false, and multiple choice uh, for the quiz game. So you simply divide the class in half, and you're letting them work together to answer these questions. Now, what I do when I'm running this is they are uh, they're answering pretty general knowledge questions, but then I'm pausing the game in between each. So it's breaking it down into little snippets of conversation. Instead of me sitting there and talking for 10 minutes about these topics I need to discuss, I'm able to just discuss it in little pieces, little bits and pieces, which I like much better. So uh, here you can see that I'm just typing it in, picking true, false, or multiple choice. And I'm going to speed along a little bit so that you don't have to watch me type in all of these. Now, I'm going to go ahead and type in four uh, questions, but remember, you've got to keep it even. So you can always come back to it. I can click Next, and now I'm going to say Finish. But let's say I just want to go back and I want to add another one. There's this cute little pencil in the top right hand corner. All I have to do is click it. I could go right back to it. I could change answers. I could add more. I could just add it and just pick it and keep going. So I'm going to speed through these so that I can have eight questions. Now here's where the awesomeness comes in. I'm going to click this little uh, bank button at the top and I'm going to save this content as SAT Math. Um, so once I save it, I've zoomed in on the little box so you can see what it looks like. Uh, there we go, SAT Math, and I'm going to click Save. And then now that is accessible in my next game. So I'm going to finish this one. Now I'm going to add one more slide. I'm going to Insert and Smart Lab. And here we go. I'm going to pick their favorite game, which is the monster game. Now again, this is a BYOD game and not all of these games, in fact most of the games are not required to have individual devices. I just like individual devices because if you have them that's the best. Now I have already picked the SAT content it's in there and now I'm saving this and it's ready to go. So I didn't even have to create these questions, I just pulled them up once I had them in there and I could display this content in a myriad variety of choices. So lots and lots of ways I could do this. And this quiz game is actually ready to go. Never stop learning. 